So I was going to do this nice, funny rant about how Thanksgiving, maybe we should rethink where our thanks are going because we're always like, oh, I'm thankful for the family I have. Well, why don't you thank yourself? You put your wiener in a woman. That's your thing. You did it. It was actually kind of easy and fun. So you should thank yourself for that, you know? Or maybe we should thank, uh, be thankful for the stuff that we don't have, like measles, mumps, uh, Nazi overlords, season 10 in Jersey Shore. Like, maybe we should rethink our thanking. But guess what? I can't do that anymore because I'm super mad about something else. I was at a show last night and I was having a lovely conversation with a young gentleman who was also from Vancouver and he's like, yeah, I like Vancouver too, except I like coming to Victoria because it's more white. And I was like, what the fuck did you just say? Seriously, dude, seriously? What makes you so special? Why are you, what makes you better, okay, buddy? You're standing outside a Mickey Avalon concert, okay? Mickey Avalon's music has as much spiritually redeeming qualities as learning fucking fidget spinner tricks while smoking a vape and watching reruns of TMZ. Like, come on, buddy. You're buying cocaine from another fucking douchebag outside a Mickey Avalon concert, and you think you're better. You think you're superior, okay? You know what? Like, do you want to live in a world where all the trees are the same? Like, yo, I don't like our Buddhist trees. I think all trees should be pine trees. Like, what? Do you, we should all drive fucking 60s Volkswagens and wear fucking polo shirts and the world will be a much cooler place. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Okay, this is Thanksgiving. We should be thankful for the world that we all share. Okay, you know what? For Thanksgiving, it should be thanks taking for you. Okay, we should take away all the things that weren't invented or created by people like you. Okay, so you know that thing in your hand that you use to connect with other dickheads and bitch about how great you are, that thing in your hand, you don't get to use that anymore, okay? You don't get to listen to any cool music, okay? You get to listen to strictly country music and Bach. That's it, okay? You don't get any of those cool things. You don't get that book that teaches you sweet sex moves anymore, okay? No, you get none of that. This is thanks taking for you, you motherfuckers. And you know what the worst part is? I stood there and I didn't do anything. I didn't start an argument. I just turned away from him because I was so blown away by his attitude and the words that he said. And it wasn't a joke, okay? This is on me. And now I'm mad and I'm yelling and I can't yell about Thanksgiving anymore. And you know what? I, I think, I think, you know, we've been, we've been wanting to send people to Mars for a little while, and I think I know some people who should go first, okay? I think we should round them all up and put them in a spaceship and send them to Mars and have them be the fucking guinea pigs, okay? They can test the shit out for us. But you know what? The funny thing is, they wouldn't even survive. You know why? Because I don't think that these people are intelligent enough to live in the future. So they'll never get to Mars. They're gonna be stuck here, okay? with a bunch of flaming torches walking around because they can't survive in the new world, okay? So suffer back in the past and stay there, you m motherfuckers.